Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's story really hits home for me. This happened in the city of Baguio, Philippines. I have lived and worked there for almost five years and I have met so many great and loving people. It's just a really beautiful place to be. Or maybe not for everyone. This is the story of Buena Sol Aro, a lovely 27-year-old Filipina who also lived and worked in Baguio City. Buena was born on 20th of April, 1987, a local of Sison, Pangasinan. Just like many other young professionals from neighboring towns and cities, Buena went to Baguio City for work. She was renting an apartment in Luwakan proper with a roommate, 25-year-old Jennifer, so she can be closer to work and save more money. In 2015, Buena went home in Pangasinan and spent the holidays and welcomed the new year with her family. Monday, 5th of January 2015, Buena left Pangasinan and went back to Baguio as she needed to return to work. The next day, she asked her roommate Jennifer for her share in the payment for their apartment. However, Jennifer did not have the money to pay. They then argued about it, which escalated to a fight. They were punching and pulling each other's hair. Then Jennifer asked the help of her 21-year-old friend, Jarius. Jarius did not just help her pull Buena's hair, but she also took a metal pipe and struck the back of Buena's head. This resulted to Buena's death. In trying to conceal their crime, 25-year-old Jennifer and 21-year-old Jarius put Buena's lifeless body in her own luggage, covered it with her own blanket, and hid it in a cabinet below the kitchen sink. They also had put a lock on it and used a chain. I wonder if they were afraid that her death will haunt them, or they simply did not want anyone to find her there. Wednesday, 7th of January, 2015, Buena's boyfriend, Lauro, decided to check on her. He was worried why she did not show up to work the night before. Jennifer and Jairus opened the door for him, and when he asked where Buena was, they told him that she had left that night and haven't come back, and that they didn't know where she was. Following his intuition, he went inside the apartment and proceeded to Buena's room. He immediately knew something was really wrong when he saw how her belongings were scattered all over the place. He also noticed some blood stains on the floor and that Buena's luggage was missing. This prompted him to call the police. He then started looking for the missing luggage. When he couldn't find it inside the room, he went outside. He noticed a lock on the cabinet below the kitchen sink. He had never seen it locked before. It wasn't mentioned how or what he used, but he did manage to remove the lock and open the cabinet. There he saw the missing luggage. He then opened it and found the lifeless body of her girlfriend, Buena, in fetal position. When the police arrived at the apartment, Jennifer and Jairus admitted to the killing. They were immediately taken into custody and the police began their investigation. It was later revealed that they also stole her belongings. They have taken her laptop, three cell phones, a camera, and a pouch with ATM cards, and gave it to a friend to keep. These were later discovered and the police have taken them. Jennifer and Jairus were charged of murder and theft. They pleaded not guilty and the trial was set on 23rd March 2015. I did a lot of research on what the sentence was or when they were convicted, but did not find any. I also checked the FB page created by Buena's family for her, which I will link down below if you would like to see it as well. It seemed like the post started and stopped at the same year, 2015. Now, this brings us to our theories. I believe they were really taken by their emotions. I don't believe that this was premeditated, but I'm sure that they all had their choices on how they acted in that heated moment. 
Jennifer and Jairus made a terrible choice. They choose to end someone's life. I really believe that every story hides a lesson that we can learn and will help us be wiser every day. Wisdom that will free us and let us live our life without fear of the future. This story teaches us to know the person first before you even decided to live with them. This can be a friend, a roommate, a husband, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Really know the person first before deciding to live with them. There is a saying that goes, you can never really know someone enough. And that is true. I always tell myself and my close friends to pause whenever emotions rise. We all get angry. That's normal. I get angry. But it is in how we deal with it that makes the difference. It is how we act while we are angry that makes a difference. Let's choose to be wise, gentle, and slow to anger. I know that is just easy to say because I'm not angry right now, but let's continually try, you know? If you get angry, pause for maybe five to 10 seconds and then you talk. Practice doing that and you will see the difference. I tell you, you will see the difference. It will really help you and your relationships with everyone around you. My heart really goes out to Brenna's family. They spent the new year with her on January of 2015. The Monday after the new year, she had to go back to work in Baguio. And the day after that, she had this argument with her roommate that ended her life. I can't even imagine how heartbreaking and difficult it might have been for her mother. You just saw your child the day before, two days before, and then you just, you just received a call that she's dead. I saw this post on the FB page that her family have created for her. It is really sad. If you guys can read it, it is really sad. She's actually the only child girl in the family. And she loves to go home whenever there is holidays or leave from work. She used to bring her nieces and nephews ice cream and a box of cake. She was just lovely. This story can teach us a lesson and may the lesson stay with us and help us navigate through life. Thank you so much everyone for listening to another story. Talk to you on my next video. Please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.